let's see if I can put this in sort of a sequence that's coherent. Um, I wrote quite a bit of things in the Karen Ann Luke McDonald's 13th White Bear Arcturian and the Clan Mother this morning. And when I share information with her in her window or any time that I do, it's basically spontaneous. Uh, so you know how predictive modeling works and they can't predict what we're going to do or where we're going to be, including tracking us and why that is. But I shared a lot of information with how you operate in uh, behind enemy eld lines of uh, alien intelligence machinery, right? And so um, after I did my last video, I came across, I was just doing some, this is just how it works, right? Um, this, uh, this name called uh, Svetlana Smirnova and Grigori Grabovoy um, about the Svet, S-V-E-T, Center for Spiritual Technologies, um, and as this applies to what was in that book called Methods of Healing Through the Application of Our Own Soul Spiritual Directed Energy. And then I wrote after that, to heal ourselves of the Christic spiral resurrection of experiencing eternal life, of eternal first, eternal creation, to experience absolute pure love, spirit of eternal fire, which purifies our sentient, emotional, heart, soul, state of consciousness directed energy spheres of eternal sound and light consciousness directed free spirit creative expression by not holding one electron captive to fall in spiritual consciousness use of our creative energy. We're now experiencing a loss in the self's loss of voltage. The self is holding captive to now chasing electrons of the first sound magicians of musical spheres that are breaking the balance of magnetic circuitry, which is breaking a motherboard. And so um, I went and looked to see if there was available that book um, that talked about this. Um, and I found a quote, and I'm going to add some of my own stuff into this because of what I experienced by virtue of mapping that information. Uh, because in this particular book, they talked about spending a lot of time mapping numbers, mapping geometrical forms. And you can probably understand when I'm a little boy why I'm running to go be in nature, because you're mapping the mathematics. You're mapping, mapping the geometrical form and flow of energy creation spheres. That's why you know, because I knew as a child, that the mathematics is flawed. That's their beast system. It's flawed. So the math is not perfect which means it doesn't meet God's standard. Okay? So in the quote from the book, it says, on a universal scale, there's only one goal. And then I put, be one in one's image. Eternal and infinite development of our consciousness of the boundless love of God. That was the author's words. And then I put in, we experience through our heart and soul spirit essence whose creation we are and whose qualities we can also uh, could and should develop in thought and deed. And then I noticed thought and deed. What was left out of there, not inconspicuously, emotional energy in thought and deed because they focus a lot on the mental field, which is a psychic, the psychopath way emotional intelligence so i put in here the emphasis of emotional creative intelligence of magnitude of infinite sensory creative potential imagination of experiencing being a free spirit expression without being held captive by those that seek to hold accelerators of god's love to be used as slave batteries to run their binary, artificial, deadlight, magnetic, alien, negative intelligence, finite light machinery architecture of flawed mathematical errors that break circuits against, in this case, a flawless, perfect Gaia, three spheres, logos, motherboard. That's why they hate us. Because the first internal, eternal, absolute, pure love creation sphere is flawless. Because we are in perfect balance. 
equal unto all, we are gifting pure eternal life energy creation spheres. And that's basic math logic. Have a great day, and we love you all. Be good to yourselves.